Hi guys, today we'll discuss this counting and probability problem from Waterloo's grade 10K contest. This is question number 23 from year 2016. And it reads that, suppose you have a regular octagon, meaning all sides and angles are the same. There are 70 or eight choose four ways in which four of its sides can be chosen at random. If four of its sides are chosen at random and each of these sides extended indefinitely in both directions, what is the probability that they will meet to form a quadrilateral that contains the octagon? Okay, so that was quite overwhelming in terms of information. Let's uh, try to really understand what this question is saying, right? By visualizing the scenario. Suppose I have a regular octagon, say it looks like this. And label them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? Um, I'm gonna choose four sides at random. Say I chose uh, number one, uh, number three, uh, number four, then say I chose number seven. Right? So in this case, the four sides do enclose to form a shape that contains this octagon. So let's call this a success. It is what we want to happen. Um, what is there a case where this doesn't happen? So suppose I didn't choose number seven and uh, I chose number five instead. Right. And in this case, you will see that because one of five are uh, parallel to each other, these two sides will never meet, right? So you need to play around with this a few more times to get a feeling of what tends to work, what tends to not work, right? Then you'll eventually realize that, okay, when I choose a side, right? So say I choose number one, right? Number one is chosen. Um, then I need to make sure that one of the sides is in the two, three, four section, right? So that it will, as long as, because five is parallel to one, right? I don't want them to be either one of the three so that it will enclose off, it will enclose with the one on one side. And you need another one of the sides in the six, seven, eight section such that it will enclose with one on the other side, right? Right? And, um, you see that the more these, these four sides are together, the less likely they will work. So let's take an extreme case. Suppose your four sides, they're all together. So say this, one, two, three, and four, right? Then you're definitely, you will never find, you will never enclose to form a shape, right? Now suppose, I have, um, you know, three sides together, at least that gives me a chance to close this off, right? So if one, two, three are chosen, um, you can't choose, uh, well, you can't, you cannot, cannot choose seven because then it's parallel to three. You cannot choose five because it's parallel to one. Then the only choice is really number six, right? Then this, this, this will make sure that the four sides close, close off. So, okay. You will then realize that, okay, the more spread out these sides are, then the more likely they're gonna close off, right? So for example, I, I chose number one, number three, number five, and number seven, right? So in this case, none of the sides are together and almost guaranteed, well, it is exactly guaranteed that these four sides will enclose. When you choose four sides from eight, there are 70 or eight choose four ways in total, right? And when you choose these four sides, one of the four cases has to happen. Either all four sides are together, or three sides are together, or two sides are together, or they're all separate, or you can say that no sides are together. We had just shown through the play around part that when you choose four sides to be all together, then there's no way that uh, these four sides will enclose. So therefore we do not consider that case. So let's just consider three cases, right? Let's first, let's start with case one, when we allow three sides to be adjacent to each other. So suppose I choose side 
one, two, and three together, right? Then the fourths are really you have no choice other than six, right? And the question is, okay, then how many ways can I choose these three? Because when I choose these three, the fourth is fixed, right? So we see that we can choose one, two, and three, or we can choose two, three, and four paired with seven, or I can choose three, four, and five paired with eight, right? So we can rotate this really around the clock, right? So from one to eight, we have in total eight choices for case one. Now let's consider case number two, when you allow two sides to be together. Suppose I have number one, number two fixed, right? How can I choose the next two sides? Well, actually there are two subcases. In the first subcase, the next two sides all have to be separate, right? But in this case, if one and two are chosen, then the next two sides can only come from four, five, six, and seven, right? And uh, I have to choose two sides from four, five, six, seven, such, such that they are not together. So I can I have either four, six, or I can have four, seven, right? Or I can have five, seven. Then once I move on to the six, then six, four, that repeat, that's a repeat, right? So therefore I only have really three choices. Uh, once I have the two fixed and I want this next two to be separate, right? So this subcase, um, for every time I choose the two, I have three choices. For the rest two, so I how many first twos can I choose? I can choose one, two, two, three, three, four, right? Rotate this all around the clock. I have eight of them, eight choices to fix the two. Then once I fix the two, each has three choices, so therefore I have three times eight, 24 choices in total. Now let's consider the second subcase when you choose the first two sides and you allow the next two sides to be equal. Well, in this case, actually, you have no choice but to choose five and six together, right? Try choosing four and five, you see that five and one are parallel, therefore they're not close, right? So whenever, right, whenever you fix, you allow two, the two, two configuration, right? Once you choose the two, then this one's fixed. So how many ways can I wrote this around the clock, right? You can have one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, as soon as you hit, the five, you hit five, six, you see that it's a repeat, right? So therefore you only really have four ways to route this around the clock. And every time you fix the first two, the next two are also fixed. So therefore uh, for the second subcase, you only have four choices in total. Now let's consider the third case when you allow no size to be together, right? So suppose I choose one side, right? So number one is chosen. Um, then you go on no choice because I really only have one, three, five, and seven, right? Uh, how many times can I rotate this around the clock? Well, sure, I can try two, four, six, eight, right? So that's the second way. As soon as I hit three again, you see it's a repeat of one, three, five, seven. So therefore, I only really have two ways in total for this last case when all these sides are not beside each other. Now, summing over all the choices from each of those cases together, we have 8 plus 24 plus 4 plus 2. So together, that's 38 out of 70 total.